guys and welcome to the video. So here today we are going to cover as quickly as possible two issues that are happening or have happened to people who have updated from 5.05 to 6.72 on their PS4s. Now for this video, it's assuming that you know your way around a modded PS4. So I'm just going to walk you through some of the basics here. What we're going to be addressing are two things. When you updated to 6.72 from 5.05, the games that are in your system or were in your system, your backups, they no longer show. They're in your system, they're taking up space, but you can't see them, so you can't play them. So we're gonna address that. I'm gonna walk you through two methods on getting those back. And then the last thing we're gonna talk about is for those of you who have updated to 6.72 when you like activate hen and do whatever it is you gotta do and you put the system in rest mode when you wake up your system crashes and before we continue i just want to give once again my sincere thanks and gratitude to everyone out there these videos lately have been getting a ton of views you guys have been killing it with the likes and it means a lot i mean it, it truly does i cannot express enough appreciation to you much love to all of you out there don't forget to like this one and i believe in tomorrow's video the hacking modding news and info anybody who contributed last month to the channel i'll be giving a shout out there in that one uh, to all of you okay let's go ahead and let's get started okay so if you happen to be one of these people when you updated to 6.72 the games didn't show anymore but they are taking space in your ps4 this is primarily because when you updated to 672 the database rebuilt itself and only real legit package games will show the retail ones fake package ones will not and that's why you can't see them now they're there and you know they're there because you could go into the storage and you can see they're taking up space but you can't play them one of the things that had to be done before you went to 672 is that you needed to back up the database either via ftp or using a payload like this one that's a database backup Either way, once you had those files, then you could do the update proper to 6.72. Once you went to 6.72 and you loaded the exploit and hen, after that's been run, then you can go ahead and either put the files back via FTP, which it's only a few files. They take up, I think, less than like one megabyte. Or if you use the payload, you can also just use the DB restore, which is database restore, and it'll put the files back in. You then reboot your system and then the games should show up again but if you didn't do that if you didn't back up the database you can do one of two things all right so both of these methods are easy but one is more time consuming than the other and one involves a pc and the other one technically doesn't so the first one where you don't need the pc but it may be very time consuming depending on how many games you have is that you just reinstall the game all over again you got to make sure it's the exact same game with the exact same, you know, title ID, same region and whatnot. What will happen is it will just overwrite the existing files of the game that's already there. So you don't have to worry that it's going to take up double the space. So if you have a game that's taking up 40 gigs and you don't see it, you could just reinstall it. It will overwrite the existing files and when it's done it will still take up the same 40 gigs you don't have to worry that it's going to take up like 80 gigs and whatnot you need to make sure you install the game first and then if you installed like any updates dlc and whatnot do that again after you reinstall the game and then it will show up and you can play it now the second method is that you need a pc but it's much quicker you need to have python and stuff installed so let's go over that one all right so if you're already on 672 and you're experiencing this problem and you want to try this maybe the easier route first you're obviously again going to need a pc you're going to then need to come here to ps4 database rebuilder for 672 you can see the instructions are right there including what we're going to need to type in our command line here in a bit we'll come back to that in a minute come over to the releases and grab the needed zip file, which is source code dot zip. Now I've already done that. It's here in my or on my desktop. Now you will need 
Python 3, preferably installed on your PC. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. All right, so assuming that you have that installed, navigate to the folder where your Python 3 is at in your Windows. Now, I don't have it installed in mine. I just have the last Python 2 for Windows installed on my system. So I'm gonna use that as an example. I created a shortcut of the Python folder here on my desktop, but let's pretend that this is your Python 3 folder on your system. The steps are gonna be the same. All right, so you're gonna to navigate to your Python 3 folder, open it up, go ahead, grab that zip file that we downloaded, extract the folder that's in it, once you've extracted the folder, go into that folder and we're going to copy three things. We're going to copy the SFO, the app info.py and the fixdb.py. So drag those or copy them into your Python 3 folder. Now that that is done, we can go ahead and close out of this. Now we'll need to open up a command window here shortly, but first let's go ahead and go to the PS4 because we have to set up FTP. All right, let's go ahead and minimize this window for now. And let's head on over here to the PS4. Let's go over to Lethal's um, exploit. You can see it's caching. All right, I need to close the browser. Then we'll go ahead and uh, reopen it. Okay, let's head on back over. Okay, now let's go ahead and load exploit and hen together. And I'm going to wait for the confirmation there. So we see we have the hen up and running. Now that we've done that, let's launch FTP. And I'm going to wait on the confirmation. I'll wait till it shows us the IP address and then we know it's ready to go. And that should be the next one after this one here. There we go. Okay, so now that you have your IP address, let's go ahead and go. We're going to leave this open just like this where it's at. Don't move it. Let's go back into the um, Python folder. You're going to open up a command window here. You can do it either by holding the shift key. And while you're holding it down, press right on the mouse button at the same time. And then you could either go into PowerShell or into the command window. I usually always use the command window. If you don't have that option there, you can just come up here and uh, just type CMD. Okay, and it'll open it up right there. Now, what we're going to do is we will go ahead and copy this text right here. That's on the GitHub page from earlier. And we're going to paste it. Now, again, pretend that this is your Python 3.0 folder. Keep that in mind. Now, here at the end, we are going to go back and type in the IP of our uh, PS4. OK, I don't think you need to uh, type in the port. So all you're going to do is type in the uh, IP and then press enter and you're going to let the script finish as it says here. If for some reason it doesn't work, then just type a uh, colon and then the uh, port like this. All right. If just the IP address doesn't work on its own. Now, once the script is done, what it tells you to do next is you come back to your PS4, you hold down the PS button on the controller, and then you log out of your PS4. Once that happens, you will then log back in. And when you log back in and then go to your games, your game should appear. If they don't, just reboot your system and then they should be there and you'll be able to see them all again. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap things up by covering the issue people are having on 6.72 that after loading up the exploit in hen, you go into rest mode and when you wake up, or I should say when you wake the system up, it crashes. Now, this could just simply be that the exploit and hen just aren't up to par the way the exploit was on 5.05. It's still a little unstable and that's 
uh, that could be what is contributing to the issue right there. It can also be the payloads. If you run the exploit in hen and then you start running additional payloads, whether it's one, two or three, and then at some point you go into rest mode without rebooting the system. When you wake up, or I should say wake the system up, it crashes because you had other payloads that were loaded or injected or whatever. And so that could be contributing to it as well. Again, whether it's one payload or multiple ones, that could be the issue. And again, it can also be that it's just that the exploit and hen are not all that stable just yet. Now, in my experience, I ran into less issues when I used the exploit hen, then I did some stuff with games, and then I went into rest mode, woke the system up, and everything was fine. I noticed I had a lot more success that way as long as I didn't run any payloads. If I ran payloads, I would just reboot the system and start the process again, or I would just turn the system off if I wasn't going to use it anymore. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Hopefully that will help out until we get, you know, more stable and, uh, you know, a little bit better versions of the exploit and hen that behave like the 505 ones did. And that is going to do it for this week's episode, guys. You know, I appreciate you watching. And if you found anything here informative, useful, helpful, or maybe just entertaining, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation to the channel, of course, the best way to do that, as always, is just to hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Much love going out to everyone. Be careful out there, be safe, but have fun, and we will see you on the next one.